I'm presenting to you dynamic collaborative multi-agent reinforcement learning communication for autonomous drone reforestation. The last two years have brought climate change to the doorstep of many, while vivid wildfires have destroyed large forest areas, cattle pasture is the biggest cause of deforestation. Forests, ab forests absorb more than a quarter of global human emitted carbon dioxide. Multiple parameters can make reforestation difficult and must be considered to regreen successfully and sustainably. Trees need to be planted close to existing woodland to shield seedlings from harsh winds and provide them with stable soil. Additional maintenance, monitoring and transportation challenges, especially in hard to reach areas, have motivated this work. Core questions we ask. Can agents in the multi-agent system learn the importance of communication and subsequently extend each other's partially observability? Furthermore, can agents learn to use communication information to increase individual performance? And can shared information be used to explore further and take actions with higher risks for the benefit of finding locations with higher need for reforestation and, and accordingly higher rewards? There have been multiple single and multi drone applications in various fields. Previous work has investigated the use of drone networks to fight forest fires by monitoring outbreaks and growth. We think it is important to mention two companies, namely Flash Forest and Airseed, using artificial intelligence to solve reforestation with drones. Both companies, but also academic work, heavily use mapping, pre-planning of flight paths and tree seed drop locations. However, our proposal investigates full autonomous flight path planning, drop location scouting and communication amongst all agents, recharging and, and battery life tracking using a single neural network for each drone. Our work focuses on active communication as part of the agent's action space. Recent work of ours has investigated the highly decentralized multi-agent communication with fixed size graph structure data, as well as variable size graph structure data with communication as part of the action space. While there has been work on static networks, in contrast to our previous work, here we advance static and investigate dynamically changing graph structure data with a maximum size. Two main concepts define the PPO algorithm, which have been used to train all agents. First, PPO performs the largest possible but safe gradient ascent learning step by estimating a trust region. And second, advantage estimates how good an action in a specific state is compared to the average action. On top, we are using one of the simplest forms of a GNN, the message passing framework proposed by Schilmer et al. using, using the graph in graph out network architecture. Each agent must learn to navigate the drone to the drone station to pick up a tree, seed and recharge the battery. It then has to fly and scout an ideal spot for dropping the tree seed held while keeping track of battery life. The ideal tree seed drop area is defined by the distance to existing trees. The observation space of the agent consists of distance from the drone to the ground, the location of the drone in 3D space, the movement direction vector, the distance to the drone station, if drone is ho holding a, a tree seed, the battery starters, and lastly, three inbox spaces to receive messages from the neighboring drone's memory. The visual observation is a grayscale grid of 16 by 16 cells captured by a downward pointing camera. Continuous actions control the movement of the drone and the discrete actions drop the tree or seed or save a location to memory. Our environment consists of a high map terrain forest volume, an optimal reforestation map and a dynamic communication network. It is able to cater for open-ended learning through various difficulty levels and terrain options. We have trained four different setups for our experiments. Two multi-agent setups without communication as baseline, called MA, one trained on a single environment, MA0, and the other trained on environment sample 0 to 99, and two multi-agent setups with, the, with communication, called MAC, one trained on a single environment, and the other trained on environment sample 0 to 99. Our results show that multi-agent communication outperforms our non-communication multi-agent baseline setup. While the MA0 tree drop count is high, the agent drops tree seeds very con conservatively without exploring the, the, and therefore receives a low cumulative reward. We can observe that the MAC 0 to 99 setup achieves the highest tree drop count and travels the furthest to explore through communication. We have demonstrated that we can solve this task and generalize well on an unseen terrain scenario. We also show that communication can lead to collaboration and increase the performance of multi-agent collective, ultimately outperforming the multi-agent setup without the ability to communicate.